else could I say about sneakers? Well, I could tell you this yeah. that I feel like like Vans for some reason and Chuck Taylors, those shoes on right. on chicks, it's like probably hands down one of the hottest pair of shoes. But like sneakers, like the ones you're wearing right now. Yeah. That's a popular favorite in the FFC world as well, right there. FFC, I've never heard it abbreviated like that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, like when it comes to like the podcast and social media, you almost have to like have acronyms for everything because you don't want to get, you know, flagged and you know, you don't wanna you don't wanna be in the bad boys club or the bad girls oh. club. We're constantly trying to stay out of the bad boys club. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like, all right, so like even on like Twitter where I came across you, you know, Twitter, they have their set of rules too. And, you know, there's certain things that you can't post, can't post. I don't know if you started getting like up, like warnings on your tweets. No. You haven't? I've been a very safe girl. I avoided hashtags. I don't know. I just, I, I've been, I've been like shadow banned. That's happened, but yeah. Oh yeah. I've, oh, a lot, a lot of shadow banning for sure. That sucks. That really sucks when none of your content is getting seen and you like, or you can't talk to people or your DMs get closed. Like that really sucks. But thankfully, I haven't like got any like danger warning messages. Like, mm-hmm. stop what you're doing. Thankfully, that that has not happened. I'm very very lucky on that one. Yeah, and and hopefully it never does happen. And maybe it won't because you know, like you're you're pictures and whatnot that you post on twitter none of them are like overly explicit or scandalous yeah (laughs) nothing nothing scandalous or anything to that matter you know so it's it's it's, like create the fantasy which i think is like the best part of it because i like love findom and all that stuff and i'm like highly into that so like the factor of putting the two together is perfect i love it I think the fantasy is like most definitely the best part about it all. And, you know, to kind of like indulge in the fantasy, it like just takes you away from whatever the reality may be. And I think a lot of times the guys that are into that, the reason why they want to get out of the reality is because their reality is probably way different than what they imagine it to be. And then they come across God is bunny. Oh shit, my world has changed. Who is this girl? <laughs> That's how <laughs> most people react when they meet me. Yeah, well, you know, you got that bubbly personality, and a lot of times oh, that, yeah? yeah, that could brighten people's day right there. Oh, well, listen, brightening people's day is like huge for me. I love making people happy. That's just a part of me. Anyone who knows me will say that I am like the happiest, most outgoing, like, creative excited person and yeah i love doing stuff like this so i'm having a lot of fun doing it honestly no that's amazing and i think that that's what a a lot of creators find when they start diving into this world is that it's so fun and then you realize like oh this is something that i've been missing in my life because at a certain point yeah like don't you get bored with everything that you were doing before now (laughs) oh my god i literally i literally quit my job (laughs) I was so bored of my life and I discovered like, oh, guys like my feet, I can make some fucking money and like go a long way, make a business out of this. And I just saw it as a career path and I was like, I am not making enough money what I'm doing. Um, Like I loved my job. It was great. I went to school for it. I had a college degree, but I was like, nah, this is just too mundane to the same every day i want to get up every day i want to not know what's going to happen in my life i want to do crazy shit i want to travel i want to like obsess over fashion i want to like spend time doing the things that i've always wanted to do aka travel i really want to travel and just enjoy and have fun and i think that a lot of people are like down to see that for me so i think that that's super fun where where would you like to travel um i'm actually heading to atlanta in um, october in like 30 days i'm so excited i actually cannot wait i'm going to pride so if anyone's going to pride hit me up we can hang out <laughs> shout out to pride shout out to pride shout yeah to pride. i'm pretty sure atlanta in in georgia so atlanta georgia is more than likely uh like the capital of the pride world from what i understand at the moment yeah 
from what I know, it's one of the biggest festivals. It's like three days long. Oh, I cannot wait. Like the outfits, the shoes. Oh my God. I've been planning this for months. Just you wait. The photos are going to be so good. Oh yeah, no, I bet. And you know, something interesting about the whole pride world to me, and this is something to point out. I spoke about this with uh, another guest of mine on the podcast, but something that they have done is actually very, very revolutionary. And I feel like we're going to be headed in that direction with the foot world in a lot of ways, as far as media goes, as far as getting people to back us up goes and what have you. Like, think about what the pride community has done in terms of implementing their self into the mainstream and demanding respect and normalizing everything. Absolutely. I think that this needs to be normalized. I think that along with like, people having like foot fetishes or like financial kinks and like stuff like that. Like, I think it should just be like, okay, cool. Like you like dick, you like (laughs) girls, like whatever, like same thing. Who cares? It's just like a thing that I like, like, oh, I like soccer. Like (laughs) I like feet. Like, I don't think that it should be weird to talk about it at all. Yeah, no, it totally should never be weird to talk about. See, the biggest barrier that stands in the way is that the powers that be, the people that run the main platforms that we see in the world, right? You know, Instagrams, Twitters, just all of the media, right? The the television stations and whatnot. If they're not allowed to get their piece of the pie, then they're going to have all the issues with it. And they're never going to allow mainstream media to adopt it if they don't have a way to brand it, to make it theirs as well. So yeah, they, that makes sense. yeah, but see like what the pride community did was that they, they said, no, no, we're here and we demand respect. And so now what, what happens during pride month, every single corporation and company, you know, it's nasty behavior of them, but they, use the pride colors in all of their oh, yeah. branding. We accept the gays. It, it's allowed here. Yep. <laughs> Literally everyone, anyone and everyone who can say that kind of stuff, they will. It's so funny. Yeah. So are do you identify as uh... I am bisexual. All righty. <laughs> I'm in a straight relationship. I've been with my boyfriend for four years. So you're um, in but a yeah, relationship. you've been in. You've I'm been in a straight you. relationship, but I'm very gay. And, and what what is his take on all that? Like, how does he feel about that? Um, he's a huge supporter of me. Um, he highly cheers for me, and no matter what I do, like when I told him about this, like he was like, "That is really cool. Make your money, girl. Like, I love you. You're awesome." So mm. it's it's been awesome to have like a supporter in that, and like for like gay stuff, pride stuff he highly supports me he doesn't care what i like or what i do but like it doesn't like impact us he doesn't go to pride with me like that type of stuff is more for me and my friends who also are gay you know like it's it's not really his scene which mm-hmm. i respect entirely yeah I, i've never met a guy who wouldn't be okay with their <laughs> girl being into other girls yeah, I mean, it's a it's a pretty lucky thing. I heard a comedian talking about it just like yesterday. And he was saying like, I mean, who would be mad to their coming home and their girlfriend is like just kissing another girl like, oh, hey, guys. I'd be like, hey, like, what's up? Like, what's for dinner? <laughs> yeah, you want me to cook something? Like, you know. <laughs> you want me to join in? What's going I'll on? I'll join in, you know, even better. <laughs> yeah, see, that would be another fantasy for a lot of guys. That's why a lot of guys, they go to you know, the websites that they go to, like PH, right? They go to those websites and... Oh, I'm... Yeah, she was like, what is PH? Don't worry what about is... me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, we're going we're gonna to get you in on all of the acronyms by the end of this podcast. Dude, like, clearly it's the acronyms that are, like, slowing me down. Like, I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, everybody, this is God is Bunny. Like we we skipped all the theatrical introductions and stuff like that. Um, just because I feel like it just keeps the conversation more natural, right? But oh, this is so yeah, but she is obviously a very, very cool person. So God is bunny. Um, and so w- why not Instagram? Because right now you're only on Twitter. Is there a reason for that? Well, yeah, there is. So my living situation, I currently live with my family. Uh, Mm -hmm. I'm only 23. Uh, I just quit my job. No one knows that I have a secret job. Um, 
but like I'm fairly confident in myself that I will make everything work out and it'll be fabulous but while I was doing my job that I was doing I did not want anyone to find out um so I was more so saying private about it um but I have exciting news I'm going to be starting on do I have to say OF and OF and um I'm yeah uh, probably going to spend a week ago. I think I'm going to have to. You kind of convinced me that it needs to happen. Yeah, I mean, hey, why not? So that is exciting. So you're going to be starting an OF. It has a lot yeah. of people been asking for the OF? Um, I've had a lot of people ask, like, oh, do you have one? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, sorry, no, I don't. And I only made, like, my LF just maybe a month ago. So that's super new, too. But that's been fabulous amazing like come see me i'll like check my twitter i'm sure you'll have links and everything for us but like yeah i'm I'm really enjoying it it's like more place to share like more content like you know twitter you get four photos that's boring i want to post 47 photos or like long content and fun videos and like it's just like giving me a chance to be like super creative and i've had so much fun with it so far i'm really excited yeah, no, I'm I'm really excited for you because I know you're gonna be Thank pumping you. a lot of great great content. And I see you love to get dressed and have fun with different oh my God, outfits. Yes. And... Oh, <laughs> like okay, how many okay. outfits do you think I packed for this? Like twelve, but I picked this. <laughs> <laughs> she picked the workout outfit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, this is this is a workout. I'm working out here. This is you are crazy working out. I know this is this is totally a workout right now, and I see you got the the cherry socks on. She's taking them off. Not now, for guys. long, no cherry socks. Oh my gosh! Now, <laughs> now we gotta give the fellas a close up. A close up. All right, here we go, fellas. I zoom it in. We'll get rid of my face, y'all. There you go. You gotta boom. get the the boom and the feet. You know how about we just do a foot commercial right now, y'all? How about that? We'll just keep it on her for a second and. I will give you my spill. So this is the Pop Pod episode 91. And if you have not yet, smash the like button, the like it button, subscribe if you have not already. And if you have, you should like maybe share this and tell a friend. God is Bunny's Twitter is bunny 38245351. So many numbers. <laughs> I, I I was like entering her Twitter information on the screen and I was like, am I doing this right? It's like a phone number or something. Goodness gracious. Let's talk about that. Why so many numbers on your Twitter handle? Was that like an automatic? No, that was a mistake. I was like, okay, but I made my account a long time ago. Like when I first was like, oh, maybe I'll sell like cute pics, whatever. I think, or maybe it was from before that. I don't really know what, where it came from, but I know that it existed when I went to start this. I was like, oh, I have a Twitter. I can just. <laughs> um, my online persona has always been Bunny, so that's just like what I've been known as for a long time. So I was like, okay, I'll go with that. And then we just ended up with a bunch of numbers. And I've been told before that I can just change it, but I'm like, is that gonna mess people up? Are people gonna like know who I am if I change my app? I see what you mean. I see what you mean. <laughs> I mean, you know, like if you did want to change it, I would say that probably better sooner than later, because at yeah. a certain point it probably will be too late. Like if you're like at a hundred thousand followers. And your username is bunny three eight two four five three five. It's yeah. gonna be bunny three eight. Yeah, it's gonna remain that forever. But <laughs> like, if you change it now at three thousand followers, then yeah. you know. I think you. Something I need to look into for sure. I totally forgot about it actually. Hey, you know, take everything I say with a grain of salt, though. You know, what I mean? See, <laughs> it a little bit. You know, I'm just, I'm just talking. I'm just spitballing over here. So interesting thing your yeah. family doesn't know about everything that you're doing on no. social no i've told like co-workers and like friends my boyfriend's friends my boyfriend's mom knows she thinks it's cool what what is what is her take on it like when when, when you guys talk about it what does she say 
Well, he told her because he thought that she would think it was cool that I was making a lot of money and that maybe she would want to do it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah hey, there's so a market for, just... for the um for the MILFs and the cougars too. Though. Most definitely the MILFs. Yeah. I know a lot no, of MILFs. She is a MILF. I'm sure she's got nice feet. Like anyone could be doing this. Anyone who's got nice feet. Yeah. Okay, but listen, not anyone who's got nice feet. It's a lot of hard work to get into something like this. That part. And I hate when people don't talk about that. And I think that I want to like take a second and talk about it because there's a lot of like Insta doms and people coming from fucking TikTok and the internet and like other places and they're coming and they're saying like oh I want to get into like selling my feet pictures or oh I'm going to become a financial dominatrix no you're fucking not like unless you have got drive unless you've got commitment time energy uh, compassion the ability to uh weed out bullshit like yeah. it's a lot of hard work and you are going to meet a lot of people who do not care about you <laughs> Mm-hmm. and who are going to mistreat you who are going to try to scam you steal your money ruin your life take your identity it is not a joke so really anyone who wants to get into this do your research 100%. talk to a professional like trust me i it, it it took a lot of it was a roller coaster like to get here but now i feel much much better about it you know i've i've learned a lot of lessons Absolutely. But if anyone is like looking to get into it, send me a message. Send someone with a high following a message and talk to them, please. Just get some inside scoop. <laughs> the Goddess Bunny How to Course 101. I would, you know what? It wouldn't be a stupid idea to make one. No, it wouldn't. Absolutely not. But it's you're not. right. So being that you you got out of your vanilla job and mm-hmm. are now you know a full-time fin don slash yeah. foot model slash oh, yeah. everything else that you do um do you feel like you work more now than you did at your vanilla job uh yeah this is a 24 7 job and that's basically why i feel like i had to leave because i didn't have time for this like this takes all my time and the only other thing that like i would have to worry about besides my job is like my relationship my family that kind of stuff it's all still a lot like my entire day today, as much as I'm trying to like relax, I'm at a hotel. I'm like gonna swim later. I like don't stop. Like I've got like outfits to like take photos and stuff, and like make content. I'm gonna go live on Loyal Fans later. Like it's only gonna continue like growing, and there's only gonna continue being more. And I understand that there's a lot of women who are like high up in the fandom community who just like you know they they took a different path than me and they did things differently and i highly respect that but like it, it's it's not the same for me and i do put a lot of work into everything that i do i bet you there's some guys r- watching right now that are like i'm trying to be a sub to her <laughs> well you know where to find me my oh. is always fucking open but 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 the one thing that i hate is when people come into your messages and they think that it's appropriate to talk to you without like sending like a little tribute, a little money, a little something to say like, hey, I'm a legitimate person who is like willing to buy off of you, who is going to be like good to you. Approach that way, please. Don't approach without because I'm sick of wasting my time. And most people won't even answer me, honestly. Yeah, most definitely. And I feel like sometimes. All right. So guys who question the whole tribute idea. I want to actually mm-hmm. talk about this because I talk I talk with a lot of models and I talk yeah. with a lot of people that are in this world and I think that there's a, a misconception about the tribute and a lot of guys are, and I have I have like two sides of it so I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Yeah, well, the tribute first of all, in my opinion, I think is great. All right, guys, don't tear mm-hmm. me down right now. Just listen and hear me <laughs> out. The tribute is I'm because excited. specifically of the time wasters and these. Yeah. women they have to cycle and filter through a lot mm-hmm. of time wasters so 100%. it doesn't have to be like a a huge tribute right like I, I i know like as far as like price wise goes like some models they have like their set amount and all that yeah, and that's what we'll get into the, solid but we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll get be lower when i didn't have as many followers but then i was like Nah, anyone can send me 20 bucks and then still dick me around. Like, yeah, it yeah, still yeah. happens, you know? And I feel like 
if someone's not willing to send me thirty dollars, they're not going to be willing to send me fifty or a hundred or anything else, you know? Right. But let me ask you this, Bunny. Like, so when a guy sends a tribute, right? Because, mm-hmm. because, because I want to look at this from both sides of the field and and for look sure. out for everybody. Like, so the tribute once again guys it's to filter through the the time wasters and like i said they have to deal with a lot you you have to realize that there's way more guys in their dms than you there's probably like a hundred more right that they have to go to so <laughs> yeah. a tribute first yeah. and foremost is going to highlight your message and it's going to catch her attention first and foremost so that's the point of the tribute it 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 puts you in the race. If you weren't in the race before, you're now in the race. Now, I think that sometimes, oftentimes, a lot of these these gentlemen that are sending the tributes and wanting to catch the attention of the the model or the fendom, whatever she is in this scenario, I think mm-hmm. sometimes what the actual person, the guy is looking for is not asked of and they, you know, immediately start calling them losers, start calling them, you know, just demeaning mm-hmm. things. And I feel like sometimes there's a confusion with that as well, where they're not sure if this person even likes humiliation yet. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. And I feel like there's like, <sighs> okay, I'll, t- I'll tell you about this. I was approached by someone who sent me $100 out of nowhere. And then I received a message and he basically just said like, I'm looking for someone who I can, like, be serious with, who I can, like, actually talk to, like, have a committed, like, we talk every day type of thing. And I just wanted to approach you correctly so that you didn't feel like I was out here to waste your time. Mm -hmm. And then we had a big conversation about boundaries, rules in a way of, like, respect, like, Mm -hmm. talked about um, consent, talked about kink. We had this huge conversation that was opened up with the fact that he sent me tribute and approached me in such a kind, respectful manner. Now, if he would have sent me the $30 tribute, I would have responded in the exact same way. I would have given him that conversation. But I'm not willing to talk about that you like to suck on my toes Mm -hmm. unless like you're paying me for this. And Mm -hmm. people will just approach and they'll send me a paragraph this long about how blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, excuse me? Like, Mm -hmm. or it's a picture of a penis or like non-consensual, like sexual things that I'm then, I'm supposed to read this and then answer you. Like, sorry, say hello to me. Oh, you know, if you say hello to me, I'll say hello. I'll have a five minute conversation with you. No problem. No tribute required. Mm -hmm. There you go. Have it. Five minutes. But that's all you got, hon. Okay. Because my time is not free. So if you want to continue our conversation or you want to talk about kink, or, you, or 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 say you're approaching me and you would like to just like say like I really like your content. I'm broke. I have no money. I would like to like do something for you it, it, for free. Like let me let me help you. Let me be beneficial to you because I can't give you money. Do yeah. work for me. Retweet my posts, like my stuff, whatever. There's ways to talk to me without money, and there's ways to like get respected by me. But I think if, if you're going to come to me and you're going to like want to buy my content or spend time with me or see me on Skype, you need to send me some money. I think that's very, very fair. And, and the way you just put everything was actually great. And it pretty much covered like all of the, the basis, really, to be honest. And I think that at the end of the day, it, there just has to be communication between both parties mm-hmm. so that both parties are happy. And guys, you know, they want tribute so that your message is highlighted so that the messages are filtered through and guys, you know, just want to have a little bit of respect too, but also n- deliver what their requests are and whatnot. And, you know, to have some kind of understanding. But I think that, you know, as long as that communication is there, then both parties are happy in this scenario. Um, communication is so important. Like all I can say is if say you want to have a session, Don't text me and say, let's have a session. What the, what does that mean? I need some details. Tell me exactly what you want, what you expect from me. I'm not just like, I'm not just a Barbie doll. I'm not programmed. Like you're going to need to tell me like, I'm, I'm willing and down and able to do what you're looking for, but I do need a bit of a description. Uh, Mm -hmm. I'm going to need you to tell me what you're looking for. I'm going to need a little bit of details here on this, you know? 
So when that's yes. openly communicated, you get hot fucking content. That's one thing. And when yeah. you communicate in your relationship, say you have a long term sort of thing, if you're communicating, hey, uh, funds are low now this month, like we need to budget, like you need to talk about that. Like, yeah. especially in like the thin down world, like you can come into a new relationship and be like, oh, this guy's going to buy me anything that I want all the time. No, he's not, honey. He's got bills. He's got a life. Like, you're going to yeah. need to budget and talk to this person about, like, how much are you willing to spend on me? And when yeah. they run out of money, you're not like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Like, you're supposed right. to do more. So I that, think it's so important. <laughs> you bring up something that triggers a question. So say the guy, you know, he needs to budget and he's running out of money or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, do you feel like there needs to be more of an understanding with the the FinDom with the guy, with the client, as far as I, like trying to figure out something that works for both of them? Yeah. You know what? I think, I think yes. Um, when it comes to long term, so someone who you talk to like almost every day, you have a almost like a relationship type of vibe, that should be like openly communicated. You should always know like if things are not good with finances and stuff, like a hundred percent like if you're not able to discuss that with the person that you're with and tell them like hey like i'm running low and for them to be able to say like it's okay we got i got you like you you support me you do all these nice things for me i'm not gonna not talk to you today because you're not gonna pay for my lunch like right, right. if you've got a good relationship with someone in Finland, i strongly believe like if they've got a good character they're still gonna talk to you right like, that's right. not a problem <laughs> it's not a big deal at all like you're going to get another paycheck and I'm going to be right here to be spoiled and I'm waiting. So I'm excited. Like, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. You might not get as much of my attention as right. when you're like taking me on a shopping spree, but that makes sense. Right. You, you know, you know, it's um, interesting about the whole fin down world to me is that a lot of this is like really real life anyways, mm -hmm. you know, women in general, they go towards the men who could, provide and mm -hmm. bring stability bring some kind of protection comfort to their lives and you know fendom when you think about it that's kind of what is being sought out as well you know somebody who can provide you know some some i guess they are the attention providers in in this scenario for the for the guy literally a full-time girlfriend to a million guys <laughs> that's 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 kind of hot, though, if you think about it. It's like, kind of hot. I yeah. love my job. Like, don't get me wrong. I love my job. It is so fun. It's a lot of work, and I've got to deal with a lot of different temperaments and feelings and kinks and thoughts. But, like, yeah. it's it's fun. I, I really, really enjoy it. Like, I enjoy, like, switching through different conversations being like, all right, what this one's, what's this going to be about? What are we going to do today? Like, it truly excites me. Would really you ever... It. Would you ever meet up with any of these guys if it got further, f far enough? I, I am more leaning towards the idea of starting with like, like simple cash meets and stuff. Like, I know that that's not like super huge, but in like the UK where Findom is humongous, like absolutely mm -hmm. huge. I feel like everyone's either a, a goddess or a sub, like that's the vibe over there. But like, I'm say. <laughs> we were talking about like, would you ever meet with any? Because you say like, oh, you yeah. have a full time girlfriend, and you have a lot of boyfriends, and yeah, 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 yeah. They, they, um, they do like cash meets. So say you like say like, okay, meet me at this location, and you can bring me cash, and that's it. You hand them cash, and then you leave, and that's a fucking pleasure to be able to like hand that woman in cash in her hands. I've also thought about like the idea of like, oh, like maybe you could like kiss my shoe. Maybe be lucky enough for that. But like the idea of people actually touching me, I don't know about that. We still like kind of in COVID world. I don't know. See, this is why <laughs> I feel I, like, sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say, I don't, feel, I'm not against it. It's not like the worst idea ever. Like if someone was paying me good money, like yeah. touch my feet, whatever. Give me thousand dollars, that's fine. I don't care. See, every, everybody is just so different and it is so interesting. Mm -hmm. This is why I have a podcast, not because I know a lot, because I want to get to learn a lot. You want to you know? know a lot. You want to learn a yeah. lot. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I'd be thinking of like, 
man, what would it be like to be a sub? Because I, I personally, myself, I can't, I can't imagine myself being a sub. And like, so even when a I'm a dominant person, I don't know, maybe, maybe, probably, I don't know. You don't like, know? What do you mean you don't know? You definitely know. I just, <laughs> see, like, I'm, th- I'm putting myself in a scenario of meeting up with a Fendom. I feel okay. like me, like my, my personality and who I am, like if I, yeah. first of all, like, I don't know if I would put myself in that position or situation, but you know, just hypothetically mm-hmm. speaking for shits and gigs, right? For fun. Like who I am, I feel like I would meet with her and immediately I would like, I would probably like, I feel like I would like talk to her in a way that was like, she would, she would want to like stick around type of thing. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think that I would just be like, here's, here's the money. And then all right, bye. You know, like I, I would be a terrible dumb. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, a sub. I would be a terrible sub because she would probably like, I don't know. No, this is going to sound way too like. You'd want to spend time? Like, you'd want to touch your feet? This would be, this would sound too cocky and overly confident, but like, I I just feel like I would be able to like, I would probably be able to woo her. her. And she would probably oh forget about her job. God. You know what I mean? No, I'm all right. Can I I'm just being. Can what? I tell you something? As someone who has a boyfriend, who loves her boyfriend, who talks to guys in pretty crude ways sometimes, mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck about those conversations because I'm going home to him. Right. And he's the right. one that I love. You could touch my feet. You could do whatever you wanted to my feet. I'm going home to him. He's who I love, you know? Right. <laughs> like so, and, and 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 I would imagine that a lot of women in this community they do have boyfriends, they do have significant others. So as much as you think that you can woo them, not necessarily. And also, a lot of doms are very fucking powerful women who would not let you woo them. <laughs> That's why they do what they do. Because I probably just put out like a men. challenge. Yet. I put out like a challenge just now to a whole bunch of fin doms. Now they're gonna be like, "Oh yeah, all right, motherfucker." Oh yeah. <laughs> take me out for dinner try to woo me boy but all right so but i'm glad that i brought that up because now i'm thinking about from your boyfriend's perspective or just any mm-hmm. boyfriend of a fandom in general right mm-hmm. as they got to be thinking in the back of their head like you could be the most secure person in the world because i know i am and my wife she does foot modeling and she talks to a lot of guys too all the time yeah. i'm never worried about you know, can one of these guys like win her over to the point where she wanted to leave me? Like, I doubt it. You know what I mean? <laughs> highly uh, unlikely. Highly unlikely. Like, yeah. dude is going to have to be Thor or something. You know what I mean? Like, me and my boyfriend laugh about it. Like, yeah. and I think that that's kind of what some of these subs think is so hot is the fact that me and my boyfriend laugh about it. Mm-hmm. Or, or they're going to buy us dinner and that's hot to them. They're, they like, my birthday dinner was paid for by a sub because they wanted to pay to my boyfriend not to have to worry about it. They were like, I'm paying, I'm paying for you two to go out to dinner. Don't worry about it. Or like, uh, I'll pay for you guys to have drinks or whatever. Like there's lots of cucks out there and they love it. They love the boyfriend scene. They love, Um, they love the fact that I'm taken. That's so hard. True. 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 And I think they like that about my wife too. They like that. Mm -hmm. She's, taken and they like the fact that she's my wife mm-hmm. and that they can request like s- specific content and things like that and i think that yeah. gets them you know what i mean and now let's get into the psychology of it all right a little bit like psychology. a little bit of psychology of it right like so okay. those guys they feel like they like it more because you're taken and you're somebody else's person yeah that's and so sense. they're like, oh, like the fact that it's almost like, I mean, you're not cheating on them, but they might have <laughs> that feel. But to, him, but to, to the sub, it feels like it. Yes, yes. Yeah. But like, not even necessarily that. Like, I like I don't fully understand the idea of like cocks and why they like that kind of stuff. But like, guys will watch their wives get fucked by other men because they're like, that's hot to me. <laughs> so... I yes. get it. Like, I don't know if I could do that. I don't know if I could watch I another I could not guy. do that. Not if online. anybody laid their hands on my boyfriend, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which is oh. so funny. I am such the jealous type. I'm so lucky he's not. 
Oh, if I, yeah, no, Mama Goods is too. Like, she is, she, I'm scared of her. <laughs> I'm scared of her for real. For real. Like, I'm, I believe you. I'm lucky she lets me do a podcast where I talk to hundreds of women, you know. <laughs> How long has she been doing that? Uh, she, she actually, she's newer, honestly. Like, she started, Ooh. yeah, like, all right, so she hopped on episode one of the podcast and really? yeah because i you know i didn't have any guests yet and <laughs> so I, was cool. just, you know, I was just starting the podcast so she hopped on episode one and um you know just from there you know requests started coming in like man does she make content does she do pictures and then she just kind of casually started an instagram and then you know it just kind of went from there, and, you know, went from there, and that's how it starts. <laughs> probably like, probably like four months now, you know. So not not really? that long. Mm-hmm. I've only been doing it since. Do you know why I started doing it? I got COVID and I got locked in my house, and I was like, "Well, what the fuck am I gonna do? I can't see my boyfriend. I can't do anything else. I'm gonna take sea pics." <laughs> Dang. <laughs> For real. And I started out on like, I feel like it was like Reddit. And I was like, ch- like just like trying to like peer into this world of the unknown. Like I knew nothing. Yeah. And that's why I feel like people who get into this do some damn research and do, do yeah. some looking. Okay. Cause like, you don't know what's going on when you first come in. There's all these like yeah. abbreviations, which we know yeah. I'm terrible at. So hey, I'm still learning too. Like, yeah. I'm still learning too. Are, are you on Reddit at all? No, because I don't know how to use it. I well, no, like no, no, <laughs> honestly, I'm still I'm still trying to learn. I have a Reddit profile, but like you have to post in subreddits and kind of grow yourself in those communities. Yeah, it's like, like it's like you have to you have to like be known. Before. I'm like I don't got time for that. <laughs> We both should make a, a vow to each other that we need to make time for Reddit because it's a huge platform. We should make our own like little Reddit page. <sighs> Say no more. We, we're gonna promote this podcast episode on Reddit, like like Let's a lot. Let's do it. Let's do it. That'd be so much fun. Do you I'm, know I'm what a... else I don't know how to do? What's the other one? Cook. There's, there's like fin dom shit going down on this. I don't know what it's called. I cannot remember. <laughs> hey, you 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 missed Discord. what I just said. What did you say? Discord. <laughs> all right, we're gonna clip. We're gonna clip this part. All right, say that again. You want to know else? I don't know how to do. Just say that again. Say that. No, don't clip it. That's even funny. Come on, no, no, no. Do do us a solid. Come on, we got a clip. Come on. Let's get some acting going. Let me see you act a little bit. Say say. I'm a terrible actor. Say say. Do you want to know what else I don't know how to do? Just say that. Oh my god. And do you know what else I didn't know what had? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I told you, don't put me under pressure. Oh gosh! <laughs> Not at all. I was gonna say. So you said you want to know what else I don't know how to do, and I said cook. <laughs> I was just playing. Uh, I swear, I was just playing. You little shit! I don't have to cook. Kinda <laughs> something. All right. What do you know how to cook? <laughs> really nice eggs and macaroni and cheese. No, no, I don't make eggs. Eggs are gross. My boyfriend likes eggs. Ew. No, um, I don't know. I like pasta. I cook a lot of pasta. That's for sure. Yeah, lasagna, yeah. pasta. Pa- pasta is easy. Pasta is really lasagna. Pasta is not easy if you're making like a homemade sauce. Uh huh. I mean, yeah. I guess if you're lazy, it's not easy. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. No. I. I no sh- yeah, I've been pasta. called out enough. I can't cook. Whatever. What else? <laughs> And I can't do Discord. Thank God. But what what you can do though is figure out how to dive into social media and take use it to your advantage, you know, in a way that benefits right. you and others, right? Mm-hmm. Because you see the bigger picture. You see where this world is headed, which is the digital space. 
everything oh, sure. everything is going digital whether everybody likes it or not we're in 2022 yeah. we can now have full-on businesses on the internet full-on relationships with people on the internet and the people who realize that now and realize that the old way of living which was have a vanilla job go to college <laughs> do all that that is out now yeah it really is my brother my brother is 18 and like everyone around him like all these older people are like are you going to, are you going to college are you going to university he's like why he already has a business online like he like why 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 waste his time money college is a waste of time at this like <laughs> it just seems like it's not worth it unless you're doing, like gonna be a doctor or some crazy shit but even that I know girls who are selling pictures of their feet making more than doctors. I know people who are training to be <laughs> nurses who are selling their feet pics because it costs so fucking much to be a nurse. Facts. Have you seen these nurses? These nurses are out here. <laughs> yeah, these nurses be fine though. Like, got me, got they me. Are. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I'm gonna go get a checkup every they other look week. Even better in the blue than I do. Come on. I uh, know. I know blue is your color. That's a good color. Oh, thanks. And I think purple's my color. I got my nails done. Oh, right. Wait, can you, you like, got... appreciate the toes are matching? Yeah, let me, uh, you know, let's, we might as well just do a foot martial right now, actually. <laughs> I don't know if you realize yet, but the foot martial is like kind of popular on the podcast. So. <laughs> so let's see the petty again. It's like the same color as the nails. <laughs> She's like, I'm trying. <laughs> Do this. Right. There you go. Yep. So, yo, smash the like button if you have not yet. And remember, www.daddygoods.com is live. Building, building it more every day. Just drop your emails in there so that you can stay up to date. I know it ain't much right now, but I'm trying to do some write-ups on these guests that I have on my podcast. I'm trying to keep you all updated with future episodes. And also, episode 100 is not that far away. So, you know, planning for a dope, dope episode for that. Maybe have uh, Goddess Bunny drop in and say, what's up? You know, trying to have like a whole bunch of people in there. So... Podcast 100. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I tell you what, podcasting also is a full time job, right? I'm sure it is. Promoting uh art, digital editing. I can't imagine. All of it. I can't. And and like my position is that I want these episodes to do well not just for me but i want the guests on this podcast to get tons of exposure so you know like yeah. that's that's my goal if if you that's win awesome. i win you know what i mean um i and then, love like, that it's so awesome to have like neutral characters in the yeah. like community who are just like here to promote and benefit other people like i've met a few people who um do like twitter promo like that's like what they do on twitter is yeah they help shadow girls and all i can say is damn you are working hard and these guys who are out here running like findom engagement group chats and stuff like shout out like that's it's all hard work man isn't it it really is and like another thing about doing a podcast is that you have to talk when you don't feel like talking <laughs> you have to you have to dig deep for more topics to keep the content interesting, you know, all those things, you know. And you know, I I tell everybody if a podcast can get past 10 episodes, I'm shocked because I know what it takes to have a podcast and yeah. you know, so it's a uh, it's interesting. And just like what you do, like you you would probably be shocked if people can make it up to where you are right now, I'm sure. Because I know the road that I had to take to get here, I feel like that is 100% true. Like, I truly spent, like, because I was working, I would spend, like, my lunch breaks. I would get home from working an eight-hour job, and I would work until midnight, till 1 o'clock in the morning. Like, I would take photos. I would do everything, and I just realized, like, this is too much work. Like, I cannot do this. I don't know who has, like, 
who like does like online businesses where they sell stuff and I don't know how they do it like I actually don't know how they do it like physical products like I'm selling you these shoes Mm -hmm. I couldn't I couldn't I I couldn't imagine I bet you some guy would buy those shoes oh listen hit me up I've got (laughs) lots of stuff for sale (laughs) I do I do it all I'm yeah. very, very, very willing to negotiate. I'm willing to create some fun content for you. And I love new fun ideas and things that people haven't done before. I find that really exciting. You said that like you were filming a piece of content right now. <laughs> Everything is content. Everything. Everything. You're saying it. You're saying that right now. Everything is content. Everything is content. Like- Imagine if picture, you had a picture of the socks the on the on the chair. Content. Content. Yeah, you might as well hold hold the socks up to the screen. Let's let's give everybody a close up of those. See, that's content right there. Content. <sighs> Love it. <laughs> Do you think self worship is hot? Absolutely, absolutely, and I think that if these women. In these positions didn't worship the worship themselves they wouldn't be looked at the same way you know like mm-hmm. i feel like that's part of the appeal to me is the fact that i know that i'm hot as fuck i i i know that i'm like i've got a good attitude like i've got a good personality and i know these things and yeah i do worship myself like yeah i know i have nice feet that's why i do this. <laughs> i do hot mean. i do it is hot. I think I think the guys think that it's super hot too. It's like one of the one of the probably best parts of content right there. I, I know when I first saw it, I was like, oh wait, no way. Is she really doing that? And I was like, oh, that's a thing though. And then I think that it's like it's just one of those uh pieces of content that it's like it's just like chef's kiss, you know what I mean? Every every single time. There's nothing like a good reaction to good picks. Like that's the best feeling is when you work really hard on something and it gets like a good response. That's so exciting. What would you say your best response has been as far as any of your content has gone? Um, Okay. So I think a lot of girls can speak for this in this community. You will have off days, you will have great days and you will have days that out of nowhere, some random person is going to approach you and they are going to ask for something or they're going to give you something. And it's literally going to be like, holy shit. Like, I did not see that coming. Like, it, it feels like my birthday half the time. Like, it, it's it's mm-hmm. exciting. It's surprising. Like, I don't know. I feel like I have so much more confidence than I did when I started this. Like, I feel better about myself. I feel better about my appearance. I feel better about my body. Like, I, I, I truly feel like this has been, like, so positive for me. I think that people discovering the power within their self is a secret weapon that those who are in the power and in control of most of the world, they didn't want us to figure this out. They didn't want us to figure out that we can do all this stuff on our own. Yeah, absolutely not. Because we have way too much power as individuals and people just don't harness it. That's just it. Jeff, Jeff Bezos, by the way, right? Richest guy in the world, right? Mm-hmm. That guy's living a life right now. <laughs> I wonder if he likes feet. <laughs> he probably does. He's he jacked too. Does. <laughs> you no, know, he's jacked. Like he hits weights. He must be on steroids or something like that. <laughs> that I would be surprised. I, I feel like I, lots of people do that shit. Like, he would probably be the best sub for Findom chicks ever. <laughs> Oh my god, buy me an island, daddy. <laughs> you know how many guys he probably went up to, like, hey, I'm trying to sleep with your wife, but I'll pay off your house. <laughs> the guy's probably like, have her. <laughs> Go for it. Have at it. Have two rounds if you want, hun. Oh my god, that's so funny. I'll be like, a million cash, house paid off, and you got yourself a fucking deal. <laughs> you know what I mean? That is so funny. Is, is there like it, yeah money money makes people do a lot of crazy things that's for right, sure. so let, let me ask you this then mm-hmm. because you know we've talked about a lot on the podcast so far we're about 50 minutes in right now wow, and, I we love got, and i know you got tons of things that you want to be doing there at the 
place you are right now. A lot of a lot of I content see. film. Got you're going live. On, to do. You got you're going live on LF at some going point. Going live on LF. I'm going swimming later. See my boyfriend. Cox, come and spoil us. <laughs> Shout out, shout out to her boyfriend, by the way, for uh, that you know, my being boyfriend. Supporting. shout out to you. Um, you know, the world needs guys like you, so you know, respect. But um, I gotta ask you though, mm-hmm. is money everything? No, absolutely not, because at the end of the day, I would rather spend the day with my boyfriend than work. Mm-hmm. Because I know that I could I could I could spend the day tweeting and making content and do that. So I would rather go like do what I'm about to do with him now, like go swimming and hang out and just like spend time with my boyfriend who I love, who I've like spent all this time committing to. Absolutely. I, I feel like friends and family and experiences come before money. But the sad thing about that is experiences. A lot of the time you're going to need some money. Okay. So aside from the job of being a fin mm-hmm. and being a model, all those great things. Mm-hmm. For you, what's more valuable than the whole fantasy is just um, being able to do the things you love outside of work, spend time with your boyfriend and enjoy the fruits of your labor and just... Uh, what do you mean? Like, I, I want to travel. I, I really want to just, like, get out there and, like, grow myself. Like, I know there are so many opportunities. Like, you went on and you, you made a podcast. Like, that's so cool. Like realizing that like there are people who will watch a podcast like this and like enjoy it. Like you obviously have viewers. Like this is, we're in the nineties now. You're about to hit 100. Like that's crazy. And that just shows that like, if I wanted to do something crazy like that, I could, and it's possible. So I feel like every single day, more doors open for me and more opportunities. You should make a YouTube channel. You should vlog because everything is content. Remember. I mean, this content, but like, do you think someone would want to see the life of someone who is a fandom and who makes speed content? I mean, I guess it'd be interesting. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely, they would. That's so weird. I never yeah. thought about that. Well, think about this right here. And and by the way, before I say what I'm about to say now, um, what I what I meant by those questions I was asking about money and stuff, I just want people to know that there's much more to you than just what they oh, see absolutely. on the surface level. I want them to know that you're somebody who, you know, Listen, is not. I'm, I am someone who loves animals. I love making art. I love children. Like, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm a full person. Like, if you want to get to know me, and you're looking for a companion, you're looking for someone to be your friend. Like, I got you. <laughs> I'm your girl. Like, a hundred percent. I, I'm. Everything that you could want in a girl. That's what I truly think. I love that right there. And so moving on, I wanted to say, as far as people being interested in, you know, your life, a Fendom slash foot model, absolutely Mm -hmm. they'd be interested in that because look at this podcast, right? People Mm -hmm. more than likely are surfing YouTube looking for feet to look at, right? And then they come across- funny to me. Like, before I knew that people were into feet, like, it's just so weird. I can't look at a foot the same. Like, life is just different now that I know. Trust me, I'm I'm with you on that. Like, I am, like, so into it now. Like, it's, it's crazy. Like, everything else is boring to me. I don't want to see nothing else on my timeline. I'm like, wow. I'm like, I'm, like, really into this now. You know what I mean? Not in, like, a oh. obsessive way. Like, I don't look oh. at me. Like, so I'm, there's guys who look at feet and they're just like, Pfft. You know, and then there's guys who, you know, can control themselves probably. Like I'm a guy who I control myself. And most yeah. definitely when I'm on my podcast, like business, pleasure, like I separate yeah. them both like a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. And besides that, I'm married. You got so. to. <laughs> but like um this situation is just all of a sudden gaga eyes for feet. Like that's not gonna work. You just, <laughs> you gotta make sure everything's running smoothly. <laughs> but you know, I think that the viewers, they love to hear that, too, because mm-hmm. and especially the people who are into this world, into feet and stuff like that, they they would hate the fact if I was sitting here having a podcast and I wasn't into feet. Oh, my God. Yeah, they would. So, They'd be like, why you do that? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So um, 
where was I headed with this? Um, okay, so they're com- they're surfing YouTube, right? Looking for mm-hmm. feet to look at, looking for pretty girls, whatever the case may be. And then they come across the Daddy Goods Pop Pod, right? And now they're watching it and they're like, they're talking about other stuff other than just feet. Oh, yeah. now they're sitting there looking for a, a, a while. Like if they didn't like already like get to the part, skip to the part they wanted and do what they had to do, right? <laughs> and then they're listening to a conversation. They're getting to know the model, the the guest on the podcast. <laughs> and, and, and now they didn't even realize they just unlocked something new that they're into. And so... Where I'm going with that is if you were to have some kind of vlog or some kind of YouTube channel showing your life a little bit more, like even if it is with your boyfriend or eating food or whatever the case may be, they're they're coming for, you know, the feet, the feet down side, the personality, but then they're getting to they're getting to know you more and now they're into it. It's just like if you watch a reality TV show, right? Like you're watching yeah. a reality TV show probably because you like drama. But now you also like the people on the show. For sure. I mean, that makes total sense. I mean, the more that we talk about it, the more that I'm like a reality TV show about me, that would be a hit. So people, they turn on the TV because they like basketball and they love mm-hmm. they love basketball. But now they're following LeBron James on social media because they like who he is as a father. Ooh. As an entrepreneur. Like, you get what I'm saying? They like who got as funny as when she gets her pizza at midnight and records about it. Yeah. Yeah. So like all <laughs> no, of those. No, I'm joking. I do more exciting things than eat pizza at midnight. <laughs> Never mind. I don't make a channel. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> well, yeah. all right. Well, thank you, Goddess Money, for being on the podcast and hanging out. Yeah. So much fun. Well, I'm glad that you were on the podcast, spent some time with us, and I'm sure everybody watching enjoyed themselves as well. Shall we foot march our way on out of here? Ooh, I think that's a great idea. I think that's a great way to end the show. And is there anything you would like to tell your fans? Um, thank you. Thank you for Thank you for everything that you have given to me, done for me, and helped me grow. Um, I'm excited for more, and don't stop following, and don't stop sharing, and don't stop enjoying my beautiful fucking feet, because truly that makes what makes the world better. Goddess Bunny and her perfect feet. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Make sure you smash that like button once again. I got to keep on saying it because, like, sometimes y'all forget. If you have like button. Like, thousands of views and, like, 200 likes, that's got to stop. We got to get to 1,000 likes, all right? Remember, that helps the podcast that drives in more viewers, that drives in more everything, which means this podcast continues and gets bigger, larger, more guests, and more fun. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you follow Goddess Bunny on Twitter. I think she's going to have an IG later, maybe. I think you've convinced me. <laughs> she said that like three days ago, though, so I don't know. We'll see. I've only had three days to think about it. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Oh, man. Good looking. So, all right. Don't go nowhere, Bunny. I'm uh, in the broadcast. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Yeah, out. Soon.